Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Total War Empire as Safavid Persia. Uh, left where we left off. Let's see. We were going to um, retake Baluchistan from the Frenchies. Um, I can't remember actually if he developed these roads for me or we already had cobbled roads. I think we already had cobbled roads. So, okay. So we defeated an army up here. We had a battle of Azerbaijan and uh, we actually defeated the main Georgian force. There were a couple reasons why I didn't choose to pursue and destroy the army. First off, our army is really, really, really small. Um, we barely won that engagement, which was actually a little unfortunate and kind of worrying for me. We definitely need to prioritize getting some better troops, um, or at least more of the troops that are better. Um, a, lo a lot of the Camelot troops aren't too bad. We definitely don't have much in terms of inventory, though, to be fair. We definitely don't have line infantry. We can't really hold up in combat against line infantry forces. So the more line infantry and stuff they throw at us, the worse it's going to be. I'm, I'm actually a little concerned. That makes me concerned for this. So this is a four line infantry plus a Carreuse de Bois, and they have uh, artillery. This army does not have any cavalry, though, which is pretty nice. Um, we're attacking here for Baluchistan. We're, gonna, we're, we're going to assault the garrison. There's no walls here or anything, so we're pretty lucky there. They got fire locks. Uh, Gendarmerie, one line of infantry unit, one demi cannons, and uh, no general. So we should be pretty good. We're going to attack with the main force here, and we're going to reinforce with uh, with the infantry. So I I don't know. I don't think they're going to attack me. We may be pretty aggressive with our cavalry. I I do kind of want to try and hang on to them though uh, for the assault with the main French force. Um, I'm going to need the cavalry. Our infantry will not be able to take on their line of infantry one on one. Maybe the hillmen can take some pot shots but really i think the 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 best way we're going to face off against them is going to be our uh, our cavalry our cavalry advantage in that final battle is going to be essential it's going to give me a lot of mobility that they don't have so um i've got four chaternal uh camel gunners we're going to put them right in the front well actually no i actually i'm going to take that back they have a demi cannon unit so that means we actually need to spread these guys out pretty pretty far um at least until we can get out of range of their demi cannon so I'm actually going to try and see if I can spread these guys out. We're going to wait for the reinforcements. Okay, so we got reinforcements coming in from the left flank. Okay, so we're going to use these these as, as cover, hopefully. Um, where the hell is that cannon? So that son of a bitch is right here. We got to get that guy. He put up some um, put up some of the basements there. Okay, so I think we're going to approach from the left. The reason why is it's going to neutralize any sort of advantage this demi cannon has. The demi cannons really aren't that accurate. My concern is that they take pot shots at the cavalry and are able to get some pretty crazy kills pretty fast. So we're just going to pretty much redeploy all our men to the to the left. Uh, I'll probably have them run as well. Which actually trying to see if I can... I'm going to stay as clear of this as possible. I don't actually think we're in his range yet. I don't think so. These don't have the greatest range. We're gonna wait for all these guys to come in. Um, I kind of want to try our hand at having the Fellaheen take on the, the line infantry. Because if we can... I think we want to avoid any sort of ranged combat. If we can get it. Yeah, I don't think that guy's gonna fire. So I'm just gonna approach... I'm gonna approach from this side. I think it's gonna be easier. Um, especially because we have melee infantry. We're not gonna be facing off against these guys in range. I just want to get the Fellaheen there. And they're going to do their thing. These guys don't even have bayonets, so we should be okay. Seriously, though, line infantry are, are, uh, are OP. Okay, we're going to let everybody come on the field. I think we could probably walk them now. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, let me do that. Let's see. You know, I, I love the music in, in Empire Total War, so it's funny because I played Darth Mod for a long time. I played Darth Maul for a long time, and um, Darth Maul changes the music. It, it it either changes the songs or it adds a lot of new songs. 
But I never actually realized the original Empire Total War music is is really awesome. I mean, it's really pretty epic, epic music. It's it's really good. If you've never had a chance to listen to it, I mean, it's awesome. Definitely, definitely take the opportunity to do that. I'm going to triple speed this, actually. I think we're going to be okay here. Um, wow, we have three units of Hillman? I mean, like I said, these guys are pretty accurate, especially with experience. 52, 57. Um, and these are the Afghan and the Kurdish Hillman. They're better than regular Hillman. Regular Hillman, I think, have like 40 accuracy. These guys are a bit better. So, okay. I'll place guys at two. I'm going to say you guys are like number one. Lahin. Desert Warriors, I'll put in the center. Those guys are kind of expendable. They really just don't do that great. Um, I get another Philahin unit, actually. Let's see. Do I have any other troops going on the field? Let's see. What I think we do is we do the Desert Warriors in the center. We just kind of have the Philahin come in on the flanks and uh, and do their thing. So we go one, two, three. We really don't have that many troops, so it's pretty surprising. Okay, so what are we going to do here? I think we just approach from this this area, really. Um, why won't it let me redeploy these men? I guess we're wow, we're right around the edge too. Actually, that's that's kind of weird. Hmm. Doesn't let me move them. Why not? Is it too? Oh, okay, they might be too spread out. Well, and, and and there actually might be an argument to be made. Maybe we shouldn't use the. Um, the cavalry at all. I could probably take all this on with just infantry. I think I'm not that worried. Okay. That might just be what's best here, to be honest. Um, wow, I can like barely do that. You see that? Holy crap. Let's see what I can do here. I don't think I need the... Uh, I could probably use the Shaternal Camel Gunners, but even then... I mean, if I'm just going to rush them, which I think I am, I'm not going to let, I think, the Militia or the Line Infantry do too much firing. I'll probably send in the Fellaheen straight after them. These guys won't hold up in melee. I know that much. Grenadiers and, and probably Infantry with Bayonets probably would, but... For now, I'm not too worried. I really don't need... I don't need any losses on these Cavalry if I can help it. Um... I think it's the best strategy, actually. For real? Damn, I can't even, like, yeah, I can't even... I can't even, like, select the cavalry and have them, like, come over here, you know? That's interesting. Man, you guys are a little... Let's see. Because what if I just tell you guys to, like, attack, you know? Line of retreat is my priority. Um, let's see what they do. What do they do? I'm curious. I mean, I, I probably could have the Shaternal Camel Gunners come around this way. Um, I think I'll just send two though because what I really need to be careful of is that This is the one thing about the camel gunners is they can shoot themselves They can the, the friendly fire is ridiculous. I try and avoid having that happen when I can um, That's interesting These guys are pulling back actually I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, let me let me see what, what I can do here. I think an abandon the cannons probably I mean, it has to capture some, actually. I wouldn't mind some artillery. Perhaps we could. Can you capture cannons in this game, actually? I'm kind of wondering. Hmm. I kind of forget if you can. What are they going to do? Pull back? I'm pretty sure those those skirmishers can... Um, I'm pretty sure they'll be in range.
It looks like barely. I'm going to keep the infantry close behind. I doubt he's going to try and maybe charge me. He could. Let's see. All right, maybe he will. Not bad. Okay. I guess it's about to break. And that's the general, too, which is funny. I'll take his hold off for now. You know, I almost kind of thought this was like a, a square, which was weird. I was like, wait, they got square already? Okay, let me just use the inventory for this, I think. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna fact sacrifice any cavalry if I can help it. I'm gonna just let them kind of do their thing. Yeah. This guy's morale really doesn't hold up as 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 much as I thought it does. Dude, look at that. Holy shit, we just killed the entire force. Nice. Oopsies. Let's see what they're gonna do. Can you hit a moving target? <laughs> you know. Damn, these helmet, dude, not bad. Not bad. 57 accuracy, not bad, dude. Seriously, they can they can actually do a pretty good job. Alright, yep, I think this is what we're gonna do this. I think we're just gonna have the uh We're gonna have the infantry kinda do their thing. Who's this? I could honestly probably just charge that guy. No, I'll save the camels. I'll save the camels. I'll send him the general. Um, really? Are these guys gonna run? No way. Come on, you bastards. Looks like they don't want to fight. You gotta be kidding me, these guys do want not dead. They don't want like any engagement at all. It's funny. Alright, let's see. Do your thing, guys. I'm I'm curious to see how the Hillman versus the line of a tree hold up. Oh shit, they might be charging me. Alright. How about them? Oh! Alright, fine. Pull back, you bastards. Is that really how quickly they're going to break? Holy shit. Okay, to be fair, though, their general, yeah, did leave. That's a fair point. Damn it, Hillman, come on. Get out of here, guys. It's actually some of my better troops. So a lot of tree do not hold up to Philahine. Good to know. Too bad I only have three of these guys. Uh, that's it, yeah, because we, we took the city, so, yeah. Okay, so we killed six, we killed 541 men to lose 65. Most kills was a Philahine, second was the general's bodyguard, third was a Kirsch. Kirsch Hillman. Oh, wow, I don't even have enough to repair this. Mm, okay. Um, am I going to tax it? I don't think so. I'll probably leave it. Okay, so we're going to have you go in there. We're going to repair that next turn. Okay, I don't know what's going on up here. We we do need to replenish this force still. So I'm probably just going to... I I may even... Let's see, how long does it take you guys to get here? Like three turns, and you guys have public order problems anyway. Who's that? It's the Moogles. It's one Adari Pike then, Okay. Uh, it looks like the Mughals are about to be annihilated. I really hope the, the damn Marathas don't come after me. We're trading with them, to be fair. Um, we are allied to one of their enemies, however. Which is kind of terrifying. I kind of want to cancel that alliance, actually. 
Um, because they're, I mean, they're, to be fair, they're already at war w with each other anyway. I don't want the Marathas to come after me. That would be pretty bad. We wouldn't be able to hold off against them. Um, the Georgians and maybe the Ottomans I can take. I can't take a two front war though. That's going to be, that's going to be shit. That is interesting to think about. Yeah. Mm. This campaign's played out pretty, pretty interesting to be honest. Okay. So we've got nothing else here really. Yeah. Okay. It's going to go away next turn. We're going to be fine there. It should be fine anyway. I think we replenish this force first. And go destroy the French. Yeah. Ah, damn. I meant to steal some tech. Damn it. I forgot about that. I need to steal some tech next next uh, next turn. Don't let me forget. We need to do that. Yeah, we need to do that. That's important. Yeah, I really hope the Marathas don't. I mean, I, I figured they'd beat the Mughals. I just, I need some more time to be able to prepare against them. They, you know, sometimes they don't really get that expansionist. They don't come after Persia a lot. I'm hoping we're going we're gonna to get some reprieve here. Um, okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then I think we just immediately move out. Right? I don't really have much of a choice. The question is, this is kind of a good question. Do we replenish these troops? It's, eh, it's only going to cost me 389 bucks. I'll, I'll do it. By two turns? I actually don't know if we'll replenish because we're not in friendly territory, but we'll see. Did these guys replenish? So, no, these guys did not. So, I'm actually kind of wondering if it's the same thing for us. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so let's see what's up here. First, let's let's do this. Um, so this is doing a classical university. Can we steal tech? What do they have? That's all they've got? I mean, I'll, t I'll take it, dude. Sure. 22% chance to steal that. Okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Okay. So do we build something? Is there, is there much to construct besides that? Cost a thousand bucks. Do we recruit troops? Uh, we're making a decent amount of money. I'm going to say no. I don't think I need more troops yet. Villages are not growing. Can I lower the taxes? Eh, I kind of need that money right now. Temporarily, we're going to keep the taxes kind of high. Um, I, I do need the cash. But we're just going to give it a second. Um... Did this guy die? I swear this guy was better. Let's see. He's not too bad now. Harsh reputation, stall holder, jughead. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, we're we're actually lucky. Our our um our land or our minister of um minister of the army is actually really really good. That's pretty nice. Yeah, your your army minister is probably your most important minister that you have. You need that guy to be really good. Okay, so do I want to construct anything for income? This this would help out, actually. It really would. It's growing. This would give me 450 to wealth. You know, 37% 30, of 450 pretty much is what you'd be getting in income. So it's it's not a bad it's not a bad deal. And we are taxing this place. We're, we know we have it taxed. Um, to be fair, is there any other place in Persia that we could develop? I don't know. It really is just that. No, you know, I'm going to I'm going to replenish these troops. I think that's first priority. I need to get these troops back to full strength because because the thing is, is once we're back up to full strength here, we can probably destroy this force and then we may even be able to invade Georgia and take it. And that's that's a pretty important goal um, here. You know, you only make 81 bucks. I'm willing to just just not tax this place. That's fine. I don't think the French can move out from this position anyway. My fear, though. It's funny. My fear from this is that they actually move down here and we retake it and it just kind of becomes a circle. So I guess we're gonna find out what's what's gonna happen with that. And turn, I think. I mean, I think once we destroy the French force, we may be able to get peace with them. I don't know though, unless they have like another invasion army or something coming. You know, that would suck. I don't want to jinx it, but that I've seen that happen before. It's not like it doesn't happen; it happens. I'm hoping that's not the case. Yeah, that whole Norway thing, that was kind of interesting. Technology that failed. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, if I can get common land enclosures, that would get us better farms. You know, that's 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 a that's a worthy goal. Um, my one fear is also that these guys retreat. That would not be good. Okay, is there anything in the Persian region that we can develop? Anything that I can afford? I don't think so. There's nothing here. No, because we need more building slots. I don't. I don't see anything here. We could. I mean, we could go. You know, for a better governor's residence. I don't think it's going to do much for us, though. I'd rather not. Um, I think the Mughals may have retaken Malwa. They have Hindustan, though. Okay, so we give them like two turns. It'd be interesting if we had a field battle with them. Yeah. Okay. So things are turning around, which is which is nice. Yeah, we're exempting that from tax. I do want to develop this place. Um, I'll go for the crafts workshop though first. I, I I do want to develop this place. Don't get me wrong. It's just I need I need some more cash just in case we need more troops or anything like that. Right now we're making about two thousand a turn. That's not bad. Um, once we destroy the French army, I may ask them for peace. They they'll probably give it to me. I mean, these guys are literally at war with almost all of Eastern Europe, plus me, plus North Africa. Um, they took, so they took Flanders. They're at war with the United Provinces. Let me, let me see the, this, well, I can't really see the strategic situation over here. That's the thing. I don't have any sort of uh, insight into what's going on over here. What I really just need is if this guy stops blockading this port, I mean, we're going to be in really, really good financial condition. You know, we'll probably make, um, we'll probably double our income. You know, that's really what I need is just more trade. So there's not much else to do, but next turn. It's definitely a slow start to the campaign. This is about, you know, it's 1709 right now. We've literally spent 18 turns just dealing with the French and the Ottomans and the Georgians. We're lucky to have survived this long, to be fair. Um, if we had any wrong move, we probably would have been destroyed by now. I think as long as you hold Isfahan and, and Azerbaijan, you're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just keep going for the 22%, one in five chance. Well, actually, a little better than one in five. He's upgrading this. He's upgrading it to a Pasha's palace, though. He's not doing a, a military governor's encampment. That would concern me as if it was. I'd be a little worried about that. Um, so he lost Serbia. What's weird is that Crimea is actually still around. The Prussians have advanced significantly into Poland. Poland's actually lost Warsaw to the Prussians. He took Silesia. Let's see, the Austrians, um, no, they originally, I think, owned Prague, so they still have that. Let's see, the Prussians took Saxony, which I was not surprised with at all. Let's see. The French have not made any inroads into Savoy, which is actually kind of curious. Okay. So, we have everybody... Yeah, we have everybody replenishing here now. That's that's actually pretty good news. Holy shit, that was going on over here. Okay, so they're getting more troops here. Um, no, I really don't like those guys that much. Is there any reason to get... I really don't have much, dude. Shit, as soon as we get a drill school, I can start getting some actual line inventory, some musketeers. I think if these men are fully replenished next turn, I think I need to attack and destroy this force. As long as they don't have a general, I should be fine. All right, let's see what's up with the French. Yeah, so our, our troops did replenish, which is interesting then. So that means, so he did replenish this force. These guys are full strength. Should I attack him now? No, I don't have any infantry. I got one unit of skirmishers. This is a pike, a line infantry unit, and um, cavalry. So, okay. All right, so I think we attack, and uh, we we might just attack them and besiege them. I might just besiege them. I just I might just let them siege it out. That's probably not too bad. All right, anything else anywhere? I just I want to invest in places that we're going to be able to keep. Yeah, let's see. That's very poor though. That's not going to give me that much money. This one would actually be better to invest in. This this goes from like four fifty. I think the second tier of this building. 
I think the second tier of this building. Yeah, we go to like 675 as far as wealth. Um, I'm not really recruiting. I could go for the cannon foundry. It's just I'm not going to be recruiting artillery for a bit. So I think I actually probably could go for something else. Bay's mansion is never a bad idea. The plus 3% in tax. You go from 3 to 6% and you get more repression. Um, a barracks may not be a bad idea. I wouldn't mind Kurdish Hillman. They're actually pretty decent. Can't get cavalry from here, though, which is kind of interesting. Oh, okay, so you get cavalry from the uh, Bay's mansion. Oh, okay. I really just kind of want wealth. I don't necessarily want to worry about production structures. I mean, I think we have more than enough building slots and unit variety here. I just kind of want wealth if I can get it. You know, just to develop stuff. And we, do, we don't need any infrastructure. Well, I could do the roads here, but I'm actually, I think I'm okay without them. It just makes this region harder to invade for now. Once we have it secure, then I can probably, I could probably do the roads. It's kind of the same story with here. The better the roads are, the, the harder it is to, um, or the, the, the better the roads here, the easier it is to invade. So I'll, I'll go for that. Two, 2,000? Sure. Um, well, okay, let's, let's actually wait. I'm going to wait one turn. Let me just, let me just see how this, how this situation goes. That'll tell me how this is all going to work out. These guys should be good to go. I do kind of want to reinforce this position. I just don't know with what troops. Um, Pikeman's probably not a bad call. I don't have that much inventory. More inventory of any kind would probably be nice. I really don't have any mainstay, like, melee inventory. It does have decent morale, five morale. It's nothing like the camel gunners, though. Um, more cavalry? It's not a bad, it's not a bad idea. Shit, Shaterno Camel Gunners are just that good. You know, I mean, having like four of those guys in any force is pretty beast. So I have, I have three of these dudes. What I'm thinking is one more of those guys and two more of the Shaternals. That's pretty expensive though. It's like 600 in upkeep just there. But, I, mean, I am making a little bit of money right now. Um, We'll get a little bit of wealth from that. Then again, though, say I am able to be, say I'm able to defeat the French and just move west. You know, I may have too many camel forces, actually. I'm going to hold off then. I'll hold off on that. I'm going to get one more camel, though. So it's going to make this four of these guys and two of these guys. A couple infantry units. I think that's fine. Let's see what goes down here. I need to see what's up with this. Um... Why do we have more trade partners? Did somebody die? One, two, three, four, five, six. Savoy was destroyed. Ah, oh, and of course the French took it. Shit, okay. All right. Marathi Confederacy is friendly. I actually really want an alliance with them. Um, it would at least shore up this front a little bit. Um, the Mughals are still kind of surviving. Once we border the Marathas, we might need to have an alliance. Who to trade with, though? Spain would probably actually make me a pretty decent amount of money. That's the one thing, is it's, it's hard to see who you'd make money from. Spain is so big. They also are allies to the French. Who are enemies of the French? Yeah, the United Provinces, to be fair. Can you give me some money? All right, just want to trade then? I, I'll give you social contract if you want to give me square. Come on, you don't want trade? Are you serious? All right, I'll take that. I don't get any money for it, but I, I, I will get money indirectly from having the alliance. To be fair as well... Um, Oh, so Austria and the United Provinces are not allied anymore. They usually they usually are. They start off allied to each other. And what's also weird is the Austrians and the Prussians are actually friends with each other. They're not at war. That's pretty crazy. I usually see them at war in the beginning of the game. Huh. That's pretty curious. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like um, for some reason Goa is controlled by Maratha rebels. You know, it's funny. Um, I was actually thinking of doing a Portugal campaign. That would actually be a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I kind of want to do that. There's something about doing a Portugal campaign that would actually be pretty sweet. So, okay. Let's do one more turn, I think, and see what's going to happen to these Frenchies. I do wonder if they'll attack me or they'll let me siege them out. I don't know. Now, I'm also curious if they've had a revolt at this point. Because rebels running around the map is not helpful for me. I'd prefer if maybe they were able to stave it off, but let's let's see. Perhaps if I can meet them in a field battle, that would be nice. Maybe I could snipe their general or something. Okay, so these guys are still here. Oh my god, what the hell just happened here, dude? Look at that, they got two totters, one regiment to horse, they got three line of a true regiments and pikemen. Where are they getting these troops from, dude? This guy's three recruitment slots? Holy shit. And he's able to get everything. Line infantry, he can get dragoons pretty soon, totters. You are kidding me. Okay, you are not very good at stealing stuff, are you? Hmm. Okay, so Russia and Prussia are at war. Oof, doesn't really help me much. Apparently the Mughal Empire and France are at war. That's also kind of unusual. Okay, so I got this kind of Azerbaijan. Wow, our income decreased by a lot. Holy shit. Why? Did he leave then? Is he going to invade the Mughals? No. What the hell is up with this dude then? Yeah, he was able to get it under control. Oh, the military crackdown. He went to go attack the rebels. That's why. Okay. I kind of want to auto resolve that, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to siege him out. If they want to attack me, they can. Yeah, we can destroy that force and I think I may be able to get a piece with them of some kind. I can probably ask him now. Let me see. That's weird. That's a little strange. I can't demand Afghanistan from them. I wonder why. Huh. And you guys want to take a piece, right? I don't think so. No. Okay. So, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack that force and destroy that. I wonder what will come of this. I'm not going to lie. This. So here's, here's my concern. Is if this force gets too strong, they attack me, we lose Azerbaijan anyway. If I can defeat this army on its own... And this is this is kind of formidable. Three three line of a tree. That's kind of scary. Um, we don't even have Felahin to take care of those guys. We have mostly pretty shit infantry and okay-ish cavalry. So I can take care of their cavalry, no problem. The line of tree is my concern. We really don't have that much to deal with that. These Felahin musketeers are not great. The hillmen are probably the best troops we have for, to take them on. This is gonna get interesting, man. So let's let's take this back. Get that under control. It's actually been growing and developing. Um, it's got two farms here, and I think it should be close to, hopefully, anyway, another building salon. Why did why did my income go down so much though? That is a little weird. Like we're almost going bankrupt. Actually, I don't. I don't know. I think something happened with trade. We lost some trade somewhere. I don't know. We're gonna siege them out. I I think I need to attack this force though. We're gonna do that probably the next episode. Yeah, I think I have to attack them. Uh, let's see how much wealth we get from that. Yeah, I may want to develop these two plus plus the other stuff. I don't think I have anything else anywhere. We actually probably could go for that college. Do I need physiocracy for anything? It doesn't get me... Physiocracy does not get me uh, technology research rate. So I think I'm actually going to go for some bayonet stuff. That, and then we'll go for the drill school for the socket bayonet. I'm going to go through some of these. We could also really use artillery. Damn, that would give me the Ordnance Factory. Which one's faster? I like the plug bayonets, but I don't think we have any units that can use them. Really? Carbines gets me Kizilbashi Cavalry. We can't recruit those guys until, like, I think the Military Academy. That's interesting. I also would not mind some of the industrial technologies. Canister shot is pretty good, dude. We could get artillery at that point. 
Artillery would change the game. I'm going to go for canister shot, I think. Because our troops aren't great, but if we had artillery, good artillery, 12 pounders and like 18 pounders and stuff, that's not bad. Square formation. I don't know if we have any troops that we'll be able to use those anyway. I don't know if we have any troops that can use bayonets. I don't think so. I think the, the musketeers get them. I think. But that's a while from now. I think I'd rather have the artillery. Man, this is going to get interesting. All right. Yeah, so we, we deal with those dudes. May probably attack. I think probably attack this force. I think if I attack him in the field with no with no general, we can destroy that. This guy may advance on me, but I don't know if there's any guarantee that he will. Probably not. We may even be able to deal with this force if he's got only two two cavalry, maybe a general and some some militia. I think we'll be okay. I really do wish I actually had some more melee infantry for this though. I you know I kind of want to get some of those bikemen. I think any melee infantry is better than nothing. Those bikemen are bad. All right, guys. I will, uh, I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.